Good morning to you on this Monday morning. I trust you had a good weekend. Today we continue with our reading of Psalm 119 and we are reading verses 25 through to 32. My soul cleaves to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have told of my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts. So I will meditate on your wonders. My soul weeps because of grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove the false way from me and graciously grant me your law. I have chosen the faithful way. I have placed your ordinances before me. I cling to your testimonies. O Lord, do not put me to shame. I shall run the way of your commandments, for you enlarge, you will enlarge my heart. My soul cleaves to the dust. Revive me according to your word. God's word is the greatest reviver. We know that whatever age we are, we grow weary and tired. Sometimes we give out and give out and we just seem to have nothing left. Then the place to go to, the well to go to, is the same one every time. It's this book, the Holy Bible. We go to God's word. When we read his word, our soul is revived, our spirit is revived. The Holy Spirit works in, with, and through, and under the Word of God. When we read the Bible, it invigorates us, it strengthens us, it fills us anew with God's Holy Spirit. Teach me your statutes. Over and over again in this psalm, the psalmist prays, Lord, teach me your ways, teach me your statutes, teach me your law. Make me understand the ways of your precepts. I will meditate on your wonders. Teach me your way, Lord and I will walk in the path of your commandments. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove the false way from me and graciously grant me your law. Every other way that you go apart from God's word is a false way. It's a lie. There is only one truth, and the truth is God's word. The truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you want to know the truth and be set free, then get to know Jesus and stick to his word, walk with him, and you will be on the right path. I've chosen the faithful way. I've chosen the true way. I've placed your ordinances before me. I cling to your testimonies. We need to cling to God's word. O Lord, do not put me to shame. I shall run the way of your commandments, for you will enlarge my heart. Interesting thing, that the more we read God's word, the more we know his word, the closer we get to him, the bigger our heart becomes. We find ourselves loving those who are hard to love. And sometimes we're even surprised and we think, yeah, I do love that person. And we realize it's not us. We realize it's the Lord working through us, doing his work through us. Teach me your ways, Lord. I will walk in your truth. May we begin this week by asking God to show us his way, to teach us his word, to enlighten our path and we will have a blessed week. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for the weekend that is now past. We thank you, Lord, for a new day that has dawned. As we begin a new working week, we pray, teach me thy way, O Lord, that I may walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear your name, that I may walk in your truth. Thank you for this wonderful psalm. Thank you for these meditations, Lord, upon your word. Thank you for the privilege of being able to share your word. Thank you, Lord, that you love us with an everlasting love. Thank you that you forgive us all of our sins. You cleanse us, renew us, and grant us new life. Thank you that you enlarge in our hearts. The more we walk with you, the more your love flows through us, and the more we realize that we love you and we love our fellow man. Help us, Lord. Help us not to go back to Egypt, not to go back to the ways of the world, but to continue towards the promised land, to continue towards eternal life with you in heaven. Lord, we commit ourselves in you to you today, and we pray that you take us by the hand, that you lead and guide us. We commit all to you, knowing that you are a wonderful, loving, and righteous judge, knowing that you are our Father who loves us so very much. We pray for the sick, the poor, the dying, and all who are in need. We pray for our governments and all in authority, that you would give them wisdom to, to rule and reign correctly in their respective places. Lord, we pray that you would help 
us to always do the right thing and to set the right example for people. We pray for the lost. We pray for someone that doesn't know you, that this would be the day their hearts open to you. We pray for our brothers and sisters that are persecuted in lands and in places where they don't enjoy the freedoms that we have. We pray that you would help them to withstand and to stand up. We pray, Lord, that you would forgive those who persecute them, for they don't know what they're doing. Lord, we commit all to you, and we pray now that you hear us as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.